What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Hype Check, I'm Jacob Daly. I'm Matt Garfinkel, and today we're hitting Insomnia Escape Rooms DC. Mm. So basically, an escape the room is an interactive puzzle where you collect different types of clues for the, the ultimate goal of getting out of the room. You should usually come early to these things so they can explain the rules. There's a lot of different, you know, complications and, you know, depending on your location, they may have different specific rules. But um, overall, don't don't think that you'll be trapped in this room. You know, if you have to get out, you have an important phone call or you have to use the bathroom, you know, they will let you out in, in cases like those. But other than that, you know, it's good to stay in and engage on the puzzle. Exactly. And similarly, you're not alone in these rooms. You can ask for clues, um, typically from the people on the outside and they're monitoring you to make sure that you're good and not messing with their equipment um, and that you're safe and having fun. This is at the end of the day what it's all about. So there's going to be different types of rooms with different themes and also different, you know, varying levels of difficulty. If you're a beginner, maybe you want to start with one of the higher success rates. Whereas, you know, if you want more of a challenge, go with one of the lower ones. So today, because we are a little more experienced, we're going to try level 9 out of 10, uh, which is what the, yeah, right? It's exciting. That's medium, so medium to advanced. Um, but it's going to be good. Today, the one that we're going to, Insomnia, is, uh, it's about 20 to 25 minutes from WJ. Uh, they offer, I think, four rooms currently with a fifth on the way. And they recommend for each room, two to eight people. It gets less expensive the more people you bring mm. and they also have a special uh special discount that if you book a room for seven people your eighth person is free so that's eight people for the price of seven that's really good and here at hype check we're all about saving the buck all about saving the buck we love escape rooms over here at hype check we took jacob to an escape room for his birthday we surprised him uh last month it was beautiful yeah um so we're gonna put a little clip in there thank you right now Oh wow, fun them. Oh man, what oh, wow, a time what a that time. was. Yeah. Anyway, I'm excited to get there. I am as well. So let's, let's get, get started. The one you guys are doing today is the Alchemist, which is one of our um, best rooms. We've had a lot of awards won for this room. Um, we do our best to have um, as immersive of an experience as possible. So whatever the theme is, we want you to feel like it's that time period, like it's that that style. We have a bunch of antiques in there. We don't just try and phone things in. We're trying to use as close to period items as possible. Um, so you might find some unusual locks, things like that, things you won't experience other places. We, we pride ourselves in our production value. So all of our stuff should be stuff that you wouldn't be able to find other places. You know, we want to be able to find the coolest experience possible that you guys are going to be able to enjoy. We just finished up the Alchemist. We won. It was so cool. It was, it was really cool. It was like, I think it was, we've only done like one together. Yeah, I think this one was better than the last one that we did. Mm -hmm. and we uh, won. We, we won. Two we ways. escaped the room. Yeah. It was like almost 15, 15 minutes left. But like, it's, it's it wasn't very like easy. Thinking. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, new skills that we weren't used to, but it was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, so uh, we're back at Kaylee's room now. The escape room? Wow. Fine. The mechanics of this escape room, insane, like, ex exponentially better than the other one. Yeah, like it's crazy. Like this one went all out, popping out, popping yeah. up. But yeah, this one was definitely one of the better escape rooms that I've been to. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like Jack was saying the technology involved, and again, we're not going to reveal any specifics. But it was really um, seamless and advanced, and like. Things were hidden in plain sight, but worked so well. Like it was, yeah. it was really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And intuitive. Yeah. I had a great time. I thought, yes. it was, I thought it was a lot of fun. Aesthetically, it was really cool. Oh yeah. yeah. And they had like they had spooky the music. music playing. I, I've never been in an escape room where they played like theme yeah. music. Everything was antique mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like, yeah. genuine. And, like, yeah, like, yeah, it was really nice. They went all out with like everything. They were very nice too. Yeah. You yes. They were very friendly. Yeah. yeah. So okay. <laughs> Your verdict on the on this game through <laughs> worth the hype. First time ever saying this, worth the hype. <laughs> it's definitely worth the hype. 
hundred percent worth the hype. Worth the hype. <laughs> there you have it. Unanimous decision. It's a five to zero decision. Everybody go try and stop me escape the room. And come back great. next week to the pitch online where we're also gonna review the VR zone that they had. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> okay.